guitar lesson for Wood by Alice in Chains from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First thing you want to do is tune your guitar a half step down. That's what your E should sound like. And I kind of uh, I arranged a couple parts in this song. I'll show you all the parts. Um, some of the lead stuff I won't show you. But this is so you can play the song and make it carry through because if if you only play the lead stuff, it's not really going to sound like much of a song. Okay, so the first part, the bass line, this is what I play on acoustic guitar, and I think it's more fun to play on acoustic guitar, frankly, it goes like this. There's a couple of hammer-ons and pull-offs in there, but watch me very closely, okay? So we're going to go... See that? One more time, very, very closely. Watch that a couple times, you should be able to pick it out just fine. That's played throughout the entire verse of the song. And there's a couple little lead fills I'll show you. I usually don't play these when I play along with this song. Um, you really can't carry the song if this is all you play, these little lead parts. So the first part goes like this. What I was doing there was I was barring the fourth fret on both the D and the G string. And I hammer on with my ring finger onto the sixth fret on the G string. I'm playing two strings at once, then I take that ring finger off, now I take my middle finger and I put that on the 5th fret on the D string. Now I make a 7th chord right here, and I'm going to arpeggiate, or basically pluck through, 5th fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, and 5th fret on the B. All together you have... Now as the song goes on, there is another part just like that. Um, it sounds like it's about an octave lower. And it's down here, we're going to bar the second fret, the E and the A string. And we're going to do the same thing with our ring finger on this fourth fret on the A string. So I'm taking my middle finger right there and I'm putting that on the third fret on the E string. And then we go. So I slide from the second fret to the third and then hit the A string, 2nd fret, D string, 2nd fret. Those are the two little lead parts that you can kind of mess around with, or if you have a buddy in the room with a guitar, have him play those parts while you play the fun stuff. Now we go into the chorus of the song, and the chorus of the song goes like this. <laughs> What I was doing there was I was making a B power chord, three strings, your A, D, and your G, and that's on the second fret on the A string, we've got our ring finger on the fourth fret D string, pinky on fourth fret G string, then we go to a G, just those two chords. Now here's the strumming pattern. For the B we go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, and then we go to G. together it sounds like this. Alright, the next part I'm going to show you is the bridge of the song. The bridge goes like this, it's D, then we have a Jimi Hendrix chord right here, and that's going to be 5th fret A, 4th fret D, 5th fret G, 6th fret on the B. So it's that right there. And then we go into a, it looks like a G sharp bar chord. 
and then we go to a G bar chord. G sharp on the fourth and the sixth fret. G is going to be on the third and the fifth, and then we go to E. And that's how the song finishes out. Now how the strumming pattern goes when I break it down is like this. On the D, I'm going down, down, then I take my fingers off and I get ready for that complicated Jimi Hendrix chord. As I'm doing that, I go down, up, and then I go on the Jimi Hendrix chord, down, down, up, and then we go to our G sharp bar chord, and it goes down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Same strumming pattern for that G. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Same thing for the E. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now a little bit faster, it should sound like this. I think he plays through that four or five times and then it ends on that Jimi Hendrix chord. As he's just strumming through the chord and singing at the same time. I really hope you guys like this one and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching my videos guys. Make sure to subscribe and also spread the word about Guitar Made Easy via social media. Sign up for my free email list now and I'll send you my top secret guitar tips absolutely free. These tips will motivate you, keep you interested in guitar playing, and will help you become a better guitarist overall. But wait, if you sign up right now, I'll throw in all this stuff and it's all for free. All you have to do is go to signup.guitarmadeeasy.com and sign up to kickstart your guitar playing. And last, if you like my videos, you'll love the way I can teach you guitar. Please go to teachmeguitar.guitarmadeeasy.com where learning the guitar has never been easier. Thanks for watching everyone and keep rocking.